This conference will now be recorded. Fine. We're done with three hours of classes. In the last three hours, what we discussed is, so we've seen how to install the Power Bay desktop software and how to do the ETL activities in the Power Query, how to open Power Query, how to do the ETL activities we discussed. And we've seen all about Power Pivot. We said that Power Pivot is a database. And I said that in Power Pivot, we will do two activities. One activity we will do in Power Pivot is what? Data modeling. Second activity we will do in Power Pivot is what? Enhancing the data model with the help of a language called what? DAX. So till here we discussed. Right, let's continue from there. So today's, num today's class is class number four, class four. So before we, today we need to talk about Power View software. So far, we understand Power Query and Power Pivot. We need to talk about Power View. Before we go and discuss Power View, so I'll just discuss few minutes about Power Query and Power Pivot. So just tell me, I went for an interview. The interviewer is asking, what we will perform in Power Query? Interviewer is asking that what we will perform or what we will do in Power Query? What we will perform in Power Query? Or what we will do in Power Query? The question is what we will do in Power Query software? So we know that in Power Query we will perform what? ETL activities. Okay, once I answer this, the second question they are asking is what we will perform in Power Pivot? What we will perform in Power Pivot or what we will do in Power Pivot? What we will do? Uh, so one, one thing we know is in Power Pivot, as I said that we will do data modeling and we will do enhancing the data model. Instead of giving answer like this, so when they ask you, we'll tell that in Power Pivot we will do data modeling or we will enhance the data model with the help of a language called DAX. So you will answer like this. Yes, this answer is correct. So rather than answering like this, this two together we call it as preparing a data set case. In Power BI terminology, this two together we call it as what? Preparing a data set or preparing a OLAP model. Other name for data set is OLAP model. Right. So in Power BI terminology, whatever we have done, we call it as preparing a data set or preparing a OLAP model. So just better answer is we'll prepare a data set. Data set is nothing but OLAP database, right? Now, okay, we'll prepare a data set. So immediately they ask a question, what a data set will contain? So whatever you have done so far in Power Pivot, we call it as a data set case. What a data set will contain? Understand here, to prepare this data set in Power Pivot, I extracted the tables from the data sources. I transformed the data in the tables as per the reporting requirements. I loaded the tables into the Power Pivot. Once after loading the tables, between the tables, I given the relationships. Once after giving the relationships in the tables, we created the new information, right? With the DAX. Now tell me what this, all this together, we call it as one data set. What a data set will contain is, data set will contain tables, relationship between the tables, and the new information which we created with the help of DAX. What a data set will contain means? Oh. Data set contains tables first. Okay. Data set contains tables and then relationship between the tables and then relationships, relationships between between tables, relationship between the tables and Finally, new information we created with the help of what? 
tags these are the different things you have in the data set now tell me guys with the data set can you show 100 percent of information in the visuals with data model you can show only 70 percent as soon as you created the new information with the dax you can show 100 percent of information guys i said that with the tables and relationship between the tables with only tables and relationships we can show only 70 to 80 percent of information in the visuals once you create the new information in the tables you can show 100 percent of information in the visuals case you can show so with this data set with this data set we can show all the information what client is asking to show in the visual what client is asking to show in the visuals clients will give some data sources using the data sources will prepare the data set and the data set is sufficient to show all the information what client is asking to yes the data set contains tables relationship between the tables and new information also new information means what new information we derived yesterday total salary total salary right so and some new information we derived in the yesterday i, I shown you when to create columns when to create measures once you derive the new information we can show 100% of information in the visuals. We can show 100% of information in the visuals, guys. Right, perfect. The next one is we need to talk about what? Power View. Now, let's start discussing about overview of Power View software. Overview of Power View software. So what is power view? So let me write here first overview of power view software. First, let me write here. What is power view? Power view is used to create. So data set contains data in the form of what in data set data is in the form of tables. If the clients want to understand this tables data, we need to present the data which is there in the tables in which format? Visual format. When you present the data in the visual format, then only client can understand the data easily. To present this tables data in the visual format, which software will help us? Power View. Power View is used to create visuals. To create what? Visuals. By taking data set as source. By taking data set as source what visuals means graphical representation of data graphical representation of data graphical representation of data of data we call it as visuals we call as visuals graphical representation of data we call it as what visuals right now let me practically discuss this open power by desktop open power by desktop where we will create the visuals is visuals will be created in the report view there is one view called report view report view is the place where power view correct report view is the place where we'll create the visuals create visuals look at this i open the power by desktop just you'll get a welcome screen or start screen like this just close it once you close it you will have three views here model view data view report view when you are in the report view you'll get report canvas this report canvas is the place where we will develop what visuals we'll develop the visuals report view is the place where we will develop the visuals now can i develop the visuals here now yes if you want to develop the visuals first you need to have what tables we need to have the tables once you have the tables on the tables then only i can develop them visuals see what it is telling when i am in report view now what it is telling add data to your report once you add some tables to the power pivot then only you can create the visuals case then only you can create the visuals now how to add the data to the power pivot i want to bring some tables to model view I want to bring some tables here. I want to bring some tables. How can you bring the tables? There are two ways to 
add the data to the report guys now once i add the data to my report whatever you are going to develop in the power bi desktop we just call it as a report guys so in the report i need to create the visuals in the report view to create the visuals in the report view here first you need to load some tables you need to load some tables into the model view how can we load the tables into the model view is there are two ways let me write here we can load the tables in two ways into the power pivot we can load data in two ways we can bring the data in two ways to the power bi report we can add the data in two ways we can load data in two ways into power bi report power bi report tell me what is one way we already know one way that is you need to go to where transform data where you will go power query in power query you need to use what new source using new source you can bring it this is one way you can add the data one way is go to power query software and then click on what new source there is a second way also it is not only one way you can bring the data click on close and apply there is second way also so second way when you are in the model view you will find an option called what get data using get data also you can add that tables to the report power bi report when you are in the data view data view also you have an option called what get data when you are in the report view report view also you have an option called what get you can even use get data to add the data to the report guys what is the difference i'll discuss right so before we discuss that let me explain another point what is the another point is by this time you need to have the clarity that in power bi desktop what are the three different softwares we have where do we have each software in power bi desktop what is the first software we have power query where do we have power query transform data what you will do there etl activities fine we, we know where do we have power query what is the second software power pivot so second software is power pivot guys where do we have power pivot model view plus data view together is what power pivot guys. so what you will do in power pivot we'll prepare a data set we'll prepare a data set right so what is the last software we have in power bi desktop power view so where do we have power view report view power view is nothing but report view what you will do in the report view we'll create the visuals we'll create the visuals right let me write that points here so by this time you need to have an idea where do we have each software first software we have is what power query where do we have it is under transform data what you will do there means etl activities second software we have is what power pivot where do we have power pivot means model view plus data view together is power pivot model view plus data view together is power pivot what you will do there means we'll create a data set other name for data set is not olap and what is the third one power view where do we have power view means report view what we will do means there we will create visuals right so by this time we have an idea where do we have three softwares in power bi what we will do in each software right okay now i said that we can load the data into power bi report power bi report in two ways one go to power query use the new source option second way is when you are in power pivot or power view i mean power pivot or i mean power view i mean power pivot or power view we'll use which option get data understand here when you are in power query new source when you are in power pivot or power view click on get data so either two options will help you let's see what is the difference you have there we'll see what is the difference between each one let's go to power query now how to go to power query home tab transform data let's connect to i want to from power query i need to connect to excel guys to connect to excel you need to click on what 
new source i want to bring the data from excel to the power query you need to click on new source we know that click on new source excel i want to bring the data from source files financial sample excel guys there is a financial sample excel i'll select it click on open so when i click on open it will show the list of tables guys i select what tables i need for reporting purpose when i select the tables in the bottom just observe you are seeing two options what are the two options you are seeing okay cancel when you press okay selected table will get into power query when i click on cancel connection to the excel file will be lost when i click on cancel connection to the data source will be lost let me write that two point so one way to bring the data is from power query new source when you go with new source what you are seeing there two options one option you are seeing is okay second option you are seeing is cancel when i click on okay selected tables will get into power query selected tables will get into power query power query when i click on cancel connection to the data source will be lost connection to data source will lost look at this first i will click on cancel guys so when i click on cancel here whatever the connection we established to this excel file that connection will be lost now look at this when i click on cancel do you have the connection to that excel now how to re establish the connection again click on new source excel financial sample click on open and when you select the table second option you have is what okay when i when i press okay the table will get into where power query from excel the table got into where power query once the table is there what you will do next step will transform the data once you transform the data what you, what you will do in the last step you will load the data click on close and apply one way to bring the table into power bi is using new source that we already know so even there is a second way to bring the table what is the second way to bring the table is get data so you you can be in the model view or you can be in the report view anywhere is fine just click on what get data this time also i need to bring the data from excel this time also i need to bring the data from excel I, uh, one way using new source you can get it second way you can even use it you can bring it using what guys get data so now I'll, i'm trying to connect to the excel i'm trying to bring the data using get data so click on get data excel so when i click on excel this time i need to bring a data from an excel called sample superstore guys once i select sample superstore when i click on open it will open the sample superstore excel file and it will show the list of tables i'll select what tables i need for reporting but carefully you observe now in the bottom how many options you have load transform data cancel previously in power query okay cancel so options are different so you need to know when to go with load first one you have is what load second one you have is what transform data and third one we have is what cancel load transform data cancel guys transform data cancel so when to when what happens when you do each one so here when i click on cancel same thing guys when i click on cancel what happens connection to the excel will be lost cancel same in both the places and when to click on load and when to click on transform data now once you select the tables using get data using get data i selected the tables right you can preview the data in the tables in the right hand side you can see the data in the tables when i select the orders table orders table have proper formatted data orders table have proper formatted data when you go to the people's table the people's table this is not having proper formatted data the first row is what here header in the returns table we don't have proper formatted data here when i click on load this three tables will directly load into power pivot this three tables will directly load into where power pivot this time you are not supposed to click on load why because if all these three tables have proper data then only you need to click on what load when this tables does not have proper data you are not supposed to click on load. this time you need to click on what transform so when i click on transform data tables will open in where means power query software guys this, ta this tables will open in which software 
power query when they open in power query what you can do there you can do the transform click on transform data look at this the tables was opened in the power query again so go to power query click on use first choice header so go to the return table click on first choice header and once you are done with transforming the data how can you load back to power pivot means close and apply when i click on transform data tables will open in power query power query for data transformation guys for data transformation you can you can transform the data the next one is i want to bring you have some tables here i want to bring some more tables from another excel file guys tell me how to bring some more tables from another excel file you can even click on what get data again excel this time what emp dept excel so both are same no difference at all only the thing is you will have different options so now i'll just go to emp table click on open once i open it will show the list of tables you have in the emp table emp dept excel it contains emp table dept table and managers table i selected the three tables this time i can go and preview the data in the tables dept table have proper formatted data emp table also having proper formatted data and even my manager table is also having proper formatted data when all the tables have proper formatted data what is the one you need to click on load when i click on load these three tables directly will go to which software power pivot power pivot when i just click on load the three tables will directly go to power pivot guys here look at this we got the three tables into power pivot or not here we got it here right like this when i click on load tables will be loaded into power pivot tables will load into power pivot yes all are same guys so whether you bring the tables using power query new source or whether you bring the tables using power pivot get data there is no difference only thing is you might have different options let's say tell me i'm taking the tables from sql server all the tables have proper formatted data all the tables have proper formatted data no need to transform which option is best get data is best you can directly go to get data and you can directly load it so i'm taking the tables from excel i need to do lot of transformation that time go to power query connect using what new source bring the tables to power query transform the data load the data so don't think much that they provided two ways to bring it both are same okay so we can load the data into power bi report either using get data or we can bring the data using what new source both both ways are same both ways are same right guys now once you have the tables once you have the tables in the power pivot can i create the reports now can i build the visuals yes now it is telling what build the visuals when you are in the report view first time when you open power bi desktop it is telling what message here add data add data once you add that tables to the power pivot what it is telling now build visuals build visuals we added the data using what new source as well as get data report canvas so whatever when you are in the report view you will get report canvas this white space we call it is what report canvas in the report canvas we, we will build what visuals we will build the visuals let's start building the visuals so clients will tell you guys tomorrow when you join in the company clients will provide the data sources and client will tell you what information they want to see in the visuals who will tell that what information they want to see, tell uh, see is clients will tell you so whatever the information I, uh, client is asking to show in the visual uh, report we need to show it guys clients will ask you what information they want to see in the reports and visuals so based on their requirement we need to build the visuals guys so first information i'll just roughly create few visuals today first information today i'll create the visuals using orders table guys there is one table called orders table when you go for any e-commerce site like flipkart or amazon when you place an order when you place an order they will store this orders details like this who is the customer placing the order on what date they placed the order on what date the order was shipped 
and from which city customer is placing the order what is the product he purchased how much sales amount he received quantity profit right we have some columns here first information client is asking to show here is show me what is the total quantity sold what is the total quantity sold so you have a quantity column for first for, for first order here two quantity the second order here three quantity like this how many orders we have total is 994 orders for all the 994 orders client is asking to show what is the total quantity sold so first information client is asking to show here is total quantity sold total quantity sold guys to show the total quantity sold take one so client will just tell tell us what information they want to see client will never tell us use the pie chart use the line chart use the map visual they never tell you client will just tell you what information they want based on the information client is asking power bi developer need to know which visual he need to use so so i know that you, i will discuss one week of time in the coming classes when i start power view we'll discuss power bi visuals when to use each visual in a detailed way i'll discuss in the later classes for now just we want to create some visuals i i want to demo you in power view how to create the visuals that's it 15 hours of time we'll extensively discuss when to use which visual how to generate the reports and visuals extensively for now just whatever visuals i am going to create you people also create the same visuals the first visual i need to create here is so i need to show total quantity what is the best visual is card visual guys how to add the visual to the report canvas is i need to add that visual to this report canvas how to add is so when you drag it you will not get it is it getting no you need to just click on the visual when you click on the visual it will add to the report canvas we can move it wherever you want throughout the report canvas we can move it wherever you want so let us let's keep it on the top in this visual as i said that about the visual we'll discuss when we start power view when you add the visual that visual will get three sections guys field section format section and analytics section when you add any visual that visual will contain three sections we call this as field section we call this as format section this is analytic section with the help of these three sections will complete the development of the visual what is this three sections how we will utilize them we'll see in later classes let me write here when we add the visual to the report canvas when we add visual to report canvas we'll get below three sections below three sections what is the first section you'll get field section what is the second section you'll get format what is the third section you'll get analytic section with the help of this three sections will complete the development of the visual with the help of above three sections will complete the development of the visual the help of these three sections will complete the development of the visuals guys so in a more detailed way what field section will contains what format section will contains analytic sections will contains will discuss now i want to show quantity here to show the quantity you just in which table you have quantity column guys orders we call this as field span in the field span whatever the tables you loaded into power pivot you can see it so i want to show quantity column data which is available in orders table expand the orders table which column quantity column just drag the quantity column on top of visual guys when you drag the quantity column on top of visual by default when you drag any numeric column in power bi mostly it will do what sum it is giving sum of quantity guys 
So what it will do is it will sum all the values in the quantity column 2 plus 3 equal to 5 5 plus 2 equal to 7 it keep on summing all the values in the column and what is the total quantity sold 38k now when you look at the visual the visual have some plain look so you the quantity text size i'm not able to see properly i want to do some changes to this visual guys to make the changes to the visual select the visual you need to go to where now format second option is what format your visual when i go to format your visual you'll find some general related formatting options some visual related formatting options what are the changes i need to make to this visual is i want to increase this label size and i want to reduce this number size this number is too big and i want to add one border to this visual so let's do the changes to do the changes select the visual go to format so i want to reduce this i want to increase this text size you need to go to category label in the visual formatting option we need to go to where category label in the category label currently the size is 12 i'll make it 15 and then i'll choose some dark color and if required you can bold it now we can see it properly and this number size i need to reduce it you need to go to call out value what is the number size you have currently 45 let's make it 30. we're able to show quantity and i need to add one border to this visual to add the border you need to go to general formatting options in general formatting options you have an option called what effects when i go to the effects there is an option called what visual border on the visual border here on the visual border and then you have an option called what here shadow on the shadow and so bring the shadow to inside just to get the better look to the visual i'm adding some shadow before the inside the border now we are able to show what is the total quantity sold guys once after showing the total quantity sold the second information my client is asking to show is show me what is the total sales amount we received second information what they are asking to show total sales amount how to show the total sales amount is to show the total sales amount you need to take one visual click on somewhere in the report canvas and just click on what this time another card visual i'm adding another card visual why we added another card visual is we need to show what here sales how to show the sales go to orders table and you have a column called what sales column just drag it i need to format this visual exactly like this card visual guys so for that one way you need to go to card visual you need to go to format you need to manually do all this again we need to go to call out value reduce the size to 35 or 30 sorry what is the size we given there 30 and here we given 15 and increase the text size bold it and then go to general go to effects add visual border and choose some color and add some shadow you need to do like this a shadow inside shadow where inside you need to do like this guys right so we are able to show what is the total quantity and what is the total sales so when you show the total sales the next information they are asking to show is show total profit amount total create a visual to show total profit next information they are asking to show is create a visual to show total profits how to create a visual to show total profits is you need to add one visual which is best suitable to show the profits again we'll use which visual here card visual in the card visual this time what i need to show what profit so when you want to format this visual one way select the visual go to format and do the formatting right second way there is an easy way guys you already formatted this right you just select the visual there is an option called what format painter whatever the formatting we have done here we can copy that formatting using format painter and we can get that formatting to this look at this select this copy format painter paste it so in one go are we getting border yes are we getting shadow is this label size got changed or not yes in one shot all the transformations you are getting we're able to show what is the total profits like this client will ask us what information they want to see will create the visuals here guys the next thing client is asking to show is 
okay you are telling the total sales is 2.3 million we are selling how many categories in the company is we are selling what three categories how many categories three furniture office supplies technology all the three categories doing how much total sales 2.3 million client want to see furniture how much sales it is doing office supplies how much sales it is doing technology how much sales so next visual create a visual to show category wise sales create a visual to show category wise sales value guys so client will just tell us what they want to see they want to see category wise sales now i'm just giving simple visuals now they're asking to show each category how much sales value we are getting so to show category wise sales here you need to decide what is the best visual here for now i'll use which visual here pie chart why pie chart is the best visual to show category wise sales we will discuss in the later classes just take the pie chart in the pie chart i want to show category wise sales to show category wise sales category column is available in which table orders table i need to go to orders table we need to drag which column this time means category column we need to drag category column just observe here we are dragging category column here and category wise what i need to show category wise what i need to show sales i'll drag the sales column now in this visual i need to do lot of changes so it is showing category wise sales this tell me this 836k sales you are showing here 836k sales 836k sales is for which category you are showing 836k sales it is what for it is what technology orange color 836k sales technology 836k sales this one furniture and this one office supplies you are able to show category wise sales but the requirement is so this legend this we call it as legend guys this legend is occupying lot of space in the visual i want to stop the legend i want to make some changes in this visual i want to stop the legend and i want to change the label style when you stop the legend people cannot understand what value it is whether it is a technology value what it is we cannot understand it so look at this when I, i how can i stop the legend is whenever we need to make any changes here in the visual you need to select the visual we need to go where guys format your visual when i go to format your visual here you will find the options formatting options there is a formatting option under visual called what legend legend currently it is what on we are planning to do what stop this to save some space okay when you stop this can you understand this value belongs to which category no i want to show category name also here we want we need to show technology here we need to show furniture here we need to show office supplies here how to change this is this we call it as labels how to change the label style is you need to go to a formatting option called what here detail labels in the detail labels in the detail labels you will find an option called label content you will find an option called what here label content you can show only category here or you can show category comma data value this time i need category comma data value technology what is the sales furniture what is the sales office supplies what is the sales you just need to utilize this formatting option and even i want to increase the text size or i want to format this how can you format that is so in the same detail labels you have an option called what values in the values you can give the text size i'll make it 15 and i'll give a proper color here right now it is looking better guys when compared to previous now it is looking better we are trying to show category wise sales now i want to even format this title just i want to make some changes to this title i want to bring the title to the center i want to bold this title how to format this title go to format whenever we need to make any change to the visual go to format this time in the general formatting option you will find an option called what title when i go to the title i want to make the title text size some 18 i want to bring the i want to bold the title i can give a proper color to my title i can align the title to the center guys right so we are able to show category wise sales now right category wise sales perfect we are able to show category wise sales 
so i want to convert this sales values to millions guys now sales value is showing k k means what thousands i need to convert to the millions where you need to change again format go to visual formatting we call this as labels to make the change you need to go to where detail labels in the detail labels in the values you will have an option called what display units in the display units you need to select what this time millions just observe this visual total sales is how much 2.3 million out of 2.3 million which category is doing more sales technology how much sales it is doing 0.84 furniture 0.74 million office supplies 0.72 million when you sum these three numbers how much it is 2.3 million we're able to show total sales we're able to show each category wise sales i want to add one border to this visual to add the border you need to go to general in the general there is something called what effects in the effects you have visual border we can choose the border color here along with the border i need to add some shadow on the shadow bring the shadow to inside we're able to show category wise sales guys once after showing the category wise sales my client is asking to show show me category wise profits what is the total profits we have 26 now client want to understand each category how much profits they are getting so technology how much profits we have furniture how much profits we have i need to show it guys to show category wise profits the second next information client is asking to show is create a visual to show category wise profits i'll quickly create few visuals here we don't want to waste much time so i'll just create one donut chart now to show category wise profits i'm taking which visual now donut chart we added a donut chart here in the donut chart what i need to show is i need to show category wise profits drag the category and drag the profits now i need to format this donut chart exactly like this pie chart guys select the pie chart click on format painter and paste it here in one shot we got the title we got the border shadow what you are not getting this text size you are not getting properly so i need to increase this text size where can we increase this text size select the visual go to format data labels detail labels in the detail labels you need to go to where values what is the size we need to give here 50. now they are consistent we are able to show total profits is 286 where we are getting more profits technology is giving 145k profits what is the second highest profits office supplies where you are getting least profits furniture we are able to show category wise profits here so let's resize the visual fit it somewhere here Right. the next visual i need to show is once after showing category wise sales and category wise profit i want to show subcategory wise sales you have a column called subcategory how many subcategories we are selling 17 subcategories for each subcategory we need to show what sales value to show subcategory wise sales we need to choose one right visual here for now there is a first visual with the name stacked bar chart i'll use this visual guys i'm adding a stacked bar chart i'll make it a bigger one I'll make it a bigger one in this i want to show subcategory wise sales to show subcategory wise sales just drag the subcategory column and sales column here and then we need to format this visual guys so i will just go to here copy format painter paste it when you do that you will get some formatting like title formatting border formatting all this so now you are seeing only subcategory name i want to see sales value also here how to show the sales value also here select the visual go to format in the format there is an option called what data labels currently it is what off you just need to on this when you on this you will see sales value guess right so you are able to say phones how much sales is doing 0 0.33 million storage how much sales 0 0.3 all the 17 subcategories how much sales it is doing we are able to show guys here right so once after showing subcategory wise sales the next information i need to show is the next information i need to show here is state wise sales we are doing the business in how many states means how many states we are doing the business 49 states all the 49 states how much sales amount we are getting 2.3 million now clients want to understand each state how much sales amount you are getting 
to show state wise sales we need to choose one best visual here what is the best visual here is map visual i'll add a map visual and in the map visual i try to show state wise sales i'm just adding one map visual and the map visual will show state wise sales guys to show state wise sales just drag the state column and sales column when i drag the state column and sales column it is showing each state what is the sales value each state their sales value i want to format this visual copy format painter paste it i want to format the title border all this fine guys i'm done with adding the visuals in the page one completely page one is filled with the visuals if you want to perform some more analysis what you need to do is whatever you are going to develop in the power bi desktop you call it as what report to this report i need to add one new page so page one is filled with the visuals in page one you are performing some analysis you want to perform some more analysis you have what button here plus when i click on plus it will give another report canvas to you another report canvas where you can build some more visuals to perform the analysis right so we'll discuss more about it as i said we'll discuss 15 hours of time extensively how to create the reports and visuals for now at a high level we understand in the report view how can we add the visual how can we build the visual how can we format the visual at a high level we understand now now what about the visuals i created here that visuals contains what actionable information finally you need to share with whom clients can power bi desktop directly share the reports and visuals with the clients no you need to use either, either a power bi service to share the reports or power bi report server to share the reports with the clients i said that 99% of the companies they are using what to share the reports power bi so very less companies they are using power bi report server now i will show you how to publish the report which you developed in the power bi desktop to power bi service from there how to share with your clients we'll discuss it guys now let's talk about few minutes about power bi service the last one you have here is power bi service guys overview of power bi service software we are done with understanding what how to do the etl in the power query how to create a data set in power pivot how to create reports and visuals in the power bi now we need to understand how to move them to power bi service how to share them with the clients so let me write here the definition of power bi service for now in simple terms power bi service is a cloud based server cloud based azure cloud based server what is cloud we'll discuss it's a azure cloud based server which is used for which is used for sharing the reports with the client guys which is used for sharing reports with the clients what about the reports you developed in the power bi desktop the reports contains actionable information to share that reports with the clients we will use a software called what power bi service first you need to move that report from power bi desktop to power bi service from there you need to share with the clients let's do that now how to do that is so the last work we are going to do in power bi desktop is we'll go to home tab we'll click on what publish so we will publish it to power bi service where we will publish publish this report online in the power bi service it is showing one message here right so why we need to publish it to power bi service means to share right so when i click on publish what it is telling is save your report first you developed something in the power bi desktop you have not saved it yet without saving it you cannot publish it first what you need to do is once you develop the report you need to do what save guys click on save save it in the desktop right let's see i want to save this report guys how to save this report is you just need to click on save button and save it in the desktop anywhere you can save it for now i am saving it in where desktop i'll give the report name as demo report batch 235 i'm just giving the report name as what demo report batch 
two, three, four. Just click on save, guys. We can even format this report in the much better way. So currently, you have a page background, white background. I can even go and change the page background. How to change the page background is we can select the report page. We can go to the format canvas background. We can choose some background color. So we can format this by even much better way. We'll discuss all them in the later part. We can, we can add some background. We can format it up. Fine. Now we successfully saved this report case. So look at this. You save this report as what here? Demo report batch 235. Now, once you saved it, now I'll just click on what? Publish. Now, when I click on publish, this time what it is asking is, what it is asking? Sign in. Enter your email address and sign in. So here, let me explain one point. Whenever we need to move the report from Power Bay desktop to the Power Bay service, must and should you need to sign in, guys. We need to do what? Sign in. So if you want to sign in, you need username and you need password you need username and password who will provide this usernames and passwords is when you join in the company to the power bay developer companies will provide the username and password guys let me write here when we join in the company when we join in the company as a power bay developer companies will provide clients will provide provide username and password username and password to access power bi service to access power bi service so here generally the username is our email id guys username is our company email id company email id company email id let's say i join in the company called flipkart to analyze their business data when i join in the flipkart i'll get one email id from the flipkart like this so this is the username username will be our company email id there will be some common password to access all the softwares they will tell you they will provide one password also there will be some common password to access all the softwares or windows password so there will be some password to access it they will provide you guys so for practice purpose we will use some different usernames and passwords guys here for students i'll share so as students doesn't have the company email address right i'll provide some usernames and passwords the usernames will be like this user 11 at ss trainings dot in is the first user id and it will have some password you will get in the mail and second one is user so like this i'll i'll provide three email ids and three passwords three user accounts user 11 user 12 and lastly user 13. so it'll provide these three accounts guys right now just observe here here out of these three accounts user 11 is the developer user 11 is the developer who will develop the reports user 12 and user 13 are the clients who want to see the reports user 12 and user 13 is what clients right now here we develop some report we are planning to publish that report to where power bi service to publish the report it is asking to do what sign in once you sign in then only you can publish it now tell me and out of these three credentials we, which which credentials is developer credentials here user 11 so we need to sign in with what here user 11 we need to sign in with user 11 just let me copy paste this user id username email id what is that username is what email id once you enter email id when i click on continue it will ask to enter password it will ask to enter what password here user 11 password so let me sign out guys somehow it was signed in somewhere click on sign in i'll just okay oh, somewhere the credentials what saved when i click on continue so somewhere it, it was already connected so it is taking my password 
automatically so user 11 guys for you it will ask you to enter what password so i'll share the password in the mail you need to give the password there don't forget you need to give the password so now previously it shows what here sign in this time it is showing what it was logged in with user so once you save the report once you signed in then you are good to do what publish case now you can move your report from power bi desktop to where power bi service why we are moving the report from power bi desktop to power bi service means to share with the clients let's publish when i click on publish it will ask selected destination in the power bi service select one destination in the power bi service power bi service is one server that server will have lot of things into that server where you need to move you need to select some destination so let me write here so in power bi service for each project will have one workspace case in power bi service for each project project we will have one workspace workspace in power bi service for each project will have one workspace so when a, when a, comp a flipkart might start 10 projects flipkart company might start 10 power bi projects they will have lot of different data so when they start it so to analyze the data they might start 10 projects right for project 1 they will have workspace 1 in power bi service for project 2 they will have workspace 2 like this in power bi service there will be some workspaces for each project so workspace is similar to a folder where we will store complete project related content project 2 complete content we will store in where workspace 2 project 1 complete content will stay in store in where workspace 1 so in power bi service for each project will have one workspace workspace is similar to a folder is similar to a folder where we will store complete project related content complete project related content let's say for one project i developed 20 reports for project we developed 20 report all the 20 reports will store in where in one place called what workspace right now same thing guys here once you save the report when i click on publish it will ask to which workspace you need to publish which workspace you need to publish i'll just choose one workspace called there is a workspace with the name demo project may 2022 workspace just remember to which workspace i'm publishing demo project may so here you might have a lot of workspaces as our students are practicing why you are seeing this many workspaces just students are practicing that is the reason you have this many workspaces in general real, real time you don't find this many workspaces when you are working in the projects for now I'll publish it to which workspace? Demo project May 2020 workspace. Click on 2022 workspace. Click on select. When I click on select, what it is doing? Publishing the report to Power BI service case. What is the message you got here? Success. Just click on got it. So now you successfully moved your report from Power BI desktop to Power BI service. Now Power BI developer need to go to Power BI service. And so who is the Power BI developer here? user 11 and he need to share that report with whom user 12 and user 13. now user 11 need to open power bi desktop so power bi service case how to open power bi services power bi services cloud based server right any cloud based server can be accessed using web browsers case any cloud based server can be accessed using what web browsers you can open any web browser to access power bi service either a microsoft edge either chrome any web browser this time i open microsoft edge and uh, we'll log on to power bi service to log on to power bi service so to log on to gmail you will use a url called what gmail.com right in the same way to log on to power bi service the url is app.powerbi.com what is the url app.powerbi.com to log on to power bi service we need to use the url called app.powerbi.com guys we need to open one web browser in the web browser we need to give a url called app.powerbi.com just enter once you enter it will ask the username 
so once you give the username it will ask to enter what password for now i want to log in with user 11 already i given the password here so when i click on this it will directly take to the user 11 guys for you people it will ask you to enter what password it will ask you to enter the password there so once you logged in you will be landing in where means power bay we logged in where we logged in with which which user user 11 user 11 is what here developer now i published my report to the power bay service case to where you published your report so you need to go to workspaces you need to publish it to your workspace called what demo report some workspace right go to workspaces here you can search it we published it to a workspace called what demo project may 2022 workspace when you go there there is one report today what is the report we published demo report batch 235 when i just open this when i just open this just observe here when i click on open it will open this report right so this is what we developed in the power bi desktop this report is showing all the information what client is asking it is showing category wise sales category wise profits sub category wise sales state wise sales right this is the one which i need to share with my how to share this report with the client is to share this report go to the report which we developed here this is the report we developed you have a button called what here share we need to use the share button guys you need to use the share button or there is manage permissions using manage permissions also you can share it one way to share it is you can go with share or manage permissions this time i'll go with what manage permissions when i go with manage permissions there is direct access in the direct access we can add users currently only user 11 is there user 11 is owner owner is nothing but what developer we need to share that report with the clients to share that report with the clients you need to go to direct access we need to add the user to whom you need to share it user 12 is one of my client and another client is what here user 13 is second client like this we can add the users to whom we need to share the report click on grant access that's it once you share it the client can see this report now so it is as simple as gmail i logged into gmail i shared a mail with you how you will check that mail you log into gmail and you will check it right now here also same way power bi developer logged into power bi service he shared a report with client client also want to open one web browser guys client want to open his laptop and in his laptop he need to open one web browser he need to log on to power bi service how the client will log on to power bi service app dot power bi dot com whether it's a developer or client the url to log on to power bi service is what app dot power bi dot com this time he need to log in with client credentials he need to log in with either tool or so whoever it is now client tool is seeing the report he need to log in with user tool and they need to enter what here password once they click on sign in here once they click on sign in they will be landing in the home tab here where the client now we logged in with what here user 12 he is the client where you can see the report is in a folder called shared with me guys in a folder called what shared with me we need, client want to go to shared with me folder in the shared with me folder you can sort it based on time there are a lot of reports shared so if you want to see latest one you can sort it by time when you sort it by time are you seeing a report or not here demo report batch the client can open the report the client can see what is there in the report case client can understand the data by looking at the data he understand phones and chase are the two subcategories which is giving more sales fastness are the subcategories which is giving the least sales so like this they will take some business decisions by looking at the data here right so we understand at a high level all the flows starting from oltp systems or data sources we discussed till where even tomorrow when you join in the company the power bi developer flow of work will be the same clients will provide what oltp databases and we will do the etl activities in the power query we will create a database in the olap database in the power pivot and using that olap database we will create multiple reports i will discuss that using that we will create the reports that reports and visuals will contain actionable information that we will publish it to power bi service from there we will share with the clients at a high level i just explain the complete flow what we are going to discuss in the power biggest from now 
we'll discuss each module for 15 hours of time guys we'll extensively discuss power query for 15 hours of time how to do the etl activities power pivot another 15 hours of time how to create a data set power view 15 hours of time how to create the reports and visuals and then admin concepts we'll discuss 15 hours of time and then finally we'll share that with them so all this extensively for two months of time we'll discuss it right now so this is complete flow of work we're done with the introduction classes guys